Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm an expert at Curated. I've helped hundreds of people find the right gear for them. Today, I'm at the beautiful Powder Mountain in Utah, and I'll be reviewing the Blizzard Black Pearl 88. I just want to let you guys know that the, we are not sponsored by any brands, so this video is completely unbiased. This is the most popular women's ski out there. Um, it's advertised as an intermediate advanced ski, but I really do feel like it's versatile enough that most anyone can enjoy it. First impression of uh, the, these skis are that they are definitely great on the groomers. They're going to be fantastic for a intermediate to advanced skier who wants to spend most of their time on the front on front side terrain. We took them on the groomers. They were great. They really excelled at short turns. And then we even took them in the trees and they held their own. They're not super wide, so I'd probably avoid too much deep snow with them, but I had a great time. <laughs> and don't forget, if you want help finding the right gear for you, come on over to curated.com and talk to an expert like me or one of my coworkers. One of the cool features of these skis is called True Blend Technology, which means in the varying lengths of the ski, the stiffness is gonna be adjusted. So say you've got a 140 something for a really smaller female skier, those are gonna be a softer ski than what you would find in the 170 version of the ski. Through the Groomers was definitely where it excelled the most. Uh, edge holds was super, super great. It was really, really responsive to everything that I wanted it to do. I could really lay my hip into the ground if I wanted to on the Groomers, which was awesome. They held up really, really well at high speeds. And they also were able to get through like narrow trees and at slower speeds, do some tighter turns, which is why the ski is really cool for any level of skier. We had not ideal conditions this morning and we were skiing through some tougher ice chunks and these handled everything beautifully and just got through it with no issue. I would not recommend these skis to somebody who's either looking for a playful terrain park type ski or maybe a freestyle free ride ski that's gonna hold up well in powder. I would recommend these skis to mostly intermediate to advanced riders. Beginners looking to improve could totally handle this. They might be a little bit uh, hard to get used to at first, but it's definitely a ski that could stick with you for the long run. I'd recommend these for anyone in most parts of the country if you're sticking to groomers. Um, they'd be a good daily driver for somebody on the East Coast for sure. Skis work differently for everyone, so if you want help finding out if this is the right ski for you, come to curated.com and we'll talk to you about it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe to see more content from Curated.